In Darkest Dungeon, one of the first bosses you encounter is the Hag. Hanging out in the Weald, it's a bit of an interesting fight, and the first one that I personally experienced a full team wipe. Learning from my experiences, here's a quick guide on how to kill the Hag at all difficulties and levels. So a bit of a background on the Hag, there are two things that you kind of have to pay attention to. Occupying spaces 1 and 2 is going to be a cauldron, and 3 and 4 are going to be the Hag itself. During its turn, the Hag will use a round to use the ability into the pot, which will essentially take one of your heroes and throw it into the cauldron. When the hero is inside the cauldron, every turn or action that any character takes, it's going to take damage and stress. Also noteworthy that any hero inside of the cauldron will not be able to move during its turn. Now if your hero is in the pot for long enough and it runs out of HP, it will come out of the pot at death's door and be placed in position number one. Then the hag will follow this up with meat tenderizer just to try and get that death blow. Noteworthy is that the hag does have two actions per round and so that guarantees that it's going to be able to put someone into the pot even if you're able to get them out quickly. For the actual hag itself, it does have high stun and blight resistances. Also too, it's never going to move so don't even bother with that. Meanwhile, the cauldron in front of it is basically invincible, so don't bother attacking it or trying to inflict any sort of damage as it's not going to do anything. The only time it is vulnerable is when there's an actual hero inside of the pot, and as soon as it gets to 0 HP, then the pot spills out and your hero is going to be placed at the front of the party, taking all the damage and stress at that moment. So for a bit of a strategy, the hag is actually pretty useless when it comes to killing people. The biggest problem you have to care about is which hero it pulls into the pot. If she pulls a squishier character in, then you might want to focus on getting the pot down to 0 HP as soon as possible just to get that hero out. Especially if this happens to be your hero that is responsible for heals, because not a lot of healing abilities can be done in the first position. Otherwise, if it's a bit of a tankier person, you can try and keep them in there for a round and then get a little bit more damage onto the Hag, which is always good. The Hag does have an ability to heal herself though, so you've got to keep this in mind when prioritizing whether or not you want to hit the Cauldron, or if you want to inflict damage on the Hag. Since the Hag also really doesn't have as much bleed resistance, bleed is another tactic that you can do consistent damage per turn, just because the Hag does have two actions, so you're going to get a lot of value out of that. But regardless, whoever ends up in the pot, as soon as you break the pot open, you want to make sure that you are healing them up as soon as possible, otherwise the Hag will just start using Meat Tenderizer and trying to land those death blows as soon as possible. You also want to bring heroes that can do a lot of damage right off the bat and can also hit positions 3 and 4, regardless on where they get placed, just in case they get thrown into the cauldron and they end up in position 1. This way you can make sure you break the pot when you need to, but also too you can do big damage to the peg when you have the opportunity to do so. So when talking about different heroes you can bring, because any hero can be thrown into the pot, make sure you bring heroes that can do things in multiple positions. Very important is that your hero's got to be able to hit the back line, just because the hag is back there, and if they can't hit the back line, they can't hit the hag. So some good heroes to bring are the Hellion, Man-at-Arms, Abomination, Occultist, or the Vestal. The Hellion is good because it does have bleed and high damage, which can be really important if you want to hit the pot or the hag. A Man-at-Arms is also good because it can defend somebody, so that increases the likeliness of being thrown in the pot himself, and Man-at-Arms technically have a lot of high HP, so that gives a little bit more of a tankier stat. The Abomination is good because you have the ability to transform, and you can do quite a bit of damage. And the Occultist is pretty good because it can move around with Sacrificial Stab and has Weakening Curse, and on top of that too, it has Weird Reconstruction, which is Burst Heals on anybody who can come out of the pot immediately. Of course, if you want good heals, always bring a Vestal. I'm very adamant on the Vestal, but just be aware that it can be a little tricky if the Vestal gets moved into the pot and then is placed in position one. You don't want to be doing a lot of party rearrangement here. So now that you've got a basic overview of the Hag and what they can do as well as the strategy, try out different team compositions. Like I said, the Hag wiped me on my first party run and it was very sad, but I hope that you can take my experiences and learn a little bit more and are able to take out this Hag at no matter which difficulty you enter in at. And that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me explain this basic overview on the Hag. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.